the doors of Football Club Barcelona are still open for Leo Messi. This is what Joan Laporta, the chairman of the Catalan club, said on an exclusive interview with Carolina de las Salas for ESPN Deportes. He leaves an open door for him if he wants to come back to Barcelona once his contract uh, with PSG is due by the end of, of the season. Shaka, is this a a doable thing for, for Barcelona, given their financial situation, given that they had uh, to get rid of him last summer because of the lack of, of money. Yes, they getting a lot of new money, new cash uh, of the, from mm -hmm. the sale of, of, the, of their uh, TV rights for the next 25 years. But is this a true option for Barcelona or is this just a PR statement from Joao Laporta? I, I, I'll be honest. I think it's a little bit of both. I, <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's the right thing for Laporta to say because I, you understand the criticism and, and a lasting criticism that Lionel Messi left. While uh, all right, and, and, and I know how how the deal worked, but Laporta couldn't convince uh, Lionel Messi to stay. I, I know the deal with with previous president and everything else that that, that went on. Um, for, for whatever reason, Lionel Messi left. Um, so I think Laporta understands what's now being asked of him, given Lionel Messi's own continued standing at, at that football club. Um, he's still a good player, despite some of his struggles at, at Barcelona, and I think will still be welcomed at, at the camp now. Now, here's where it gets tricky, Alex. And, and you mentioned the sale of TV rights and how they were able to do that to bring mm -hmm. in to, to bring in Lewandowski and some of the, the other sendings. I I don't understand it. I'm not a fan of it. Creative accounting got Barcelona in yep. a lot of trouble, and I say creative accounting got them in a lot of trouble. Uh, I don't understand why creative accounting is somehow going to be a solution. But those aren't decisions for you or me to make, Alex. So if Laporte decides that this is what's needed, this is what's best in both the short and the long-term interests of the football club, and Lionel Messi is true to some of his sentiments expressed when he, when he first left Barcelona, that he would have stayed for far less, but it's a matter of principle and, and um, it was never offered to him, then maybe... Mm -hmm just maybe they can make the numbers work. But again, they have to get creative on both sides to make that happen. Yeah, and from a sporting perspective, I don't, I don't know if it makes any sense because if you're trying to make a younger squad, squad to uh, yeah, get rid of all those legends, Jordi Alba, Busquets, Gerard mm. Piquet, well, they probably are going to leave the, the club next summer or in two, in two years. Uh, um, so I don't, I don't see the reason, the sporting season, a reason of bringing back Leo Messi. Yeah, he will give you a lot of, a lot of good things on the field. He will be obviously a good bait for sponsors, mm. but if you're trying to play a dynamic style uh, with a younger squad, would it make any sense? Um, well, that is a decision for Xavi to make. And, and let's be honest, if there's anybody who knows yes. slightly <laughs> aging and still a world-class midfielder, it's, it's, it's Xavi. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's a, again, it's, a, it's, about, it's about thinking long-term, but also what's needed. So while Barcelona there has been a lot of focus on the youth, and, and rightly so, whether you're talking Fati or Pedri or Gavi, but you bring in Lewandowski. And so there has, mm -hmm. they have to find this balance, or they are finding this balance between that youth for the future and experience that is needed now. So maybe, again, J uh, Xavi, knowing Lionel Messi as he does, knowing this game and this football club as he does, has, already has that figured out. But um, it's that, of course, will be the debate. And, and as, as you and I keep saying, Alex, once this game, once the game starts, once players start performing, I think a lot comes in to sharper focus. As of right now, and that's the luxury of what we do, we can speculate one way or the other. But until that first whistle goes, we're never quite sure 
whether decisions are right or wrong, whether price tags are worth, are, 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 are worth it or not. But that's why we sit in studios. We, we are allowed to, to, to speculate as much. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.